Hello, everybody, and welcome to this very interesting video series about the bombastic birds opening, the move one to F4. It's a move that has fascinated me over my chess career. It's a move that I've played, albeit on a few occasions, although having prepared this particular series, I'll be certainly playing it a lot more. It's often being called an audacious attempt by chess mavericks who are looking just for cheap tricks and traps in the opening, but it's actually a completely sound, legitimate, slightly offbeat way for white to open the game. White controls the center, obviously, with this move. Um, the move was popularized by Henry Bird, the English master from the 19th century. There have been some beautiful games played in this opening, and it is a way for white to just throw uh, black off his main game. Uh, you know, it is the sixth most played opening move for white. So, you know, it is it is a very rare move in itself, but it's uh, it's a move that I believe was under-analyzed, an opening that was under-analyzed. And I believe in this particular series, I've unearthed a number of really significant theoretical improvements over what has uh, already been published, uh, what already exists in the realms of theory, and as a result, I'm I'm really happy to be able to present this to you today. The difficult part about presenting such a series is that, of course, after just looking at one move on the board, Black has got a whole variety of different replies, and I've gone through some of the uh, most popular ones to the you know moves that are very rarely played. Uh, and given what I believe is a uh, an appropriate and acceptable way for white to play. What I can say is that the direct attempts to try and beat the birds, such as the from opening, where black after f4, e5, f takes e5, d6, immediately tries to utilize the fact that the white king position has been weakened. In that particular line, I have unearthed what I believe is a, a game-changing um, concept for white, which I'm really excited about. And of course, the other serious main line is what happens when black plays the move d5 and we get some reversed Dutch positions. And what I'm going to say from the off is that in these positions, especially after knight f3, knight f6, the setup that I'm going to be proposing pretty much uh, throughout the entire series is to play with g3 and playing uh, what is also being called the Bird Leningrad. So this is borrowed from the Dutch Leningrad, and we're playing the Bird Leningrad with colors reversed, but that extra half move that we get compared to the Dutch is very relevant. And what can I say? This opening, as per every other opening, if black knows his stuff, there are many ways for black to get perfectly acceptable positions. But what I find is that black can often get so complacent against bird plays. They think, well, he's just a, a trickster, a, 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 um, you know, a, a coffee house player, if you will, and I'll, I'll play anything and beat them. But actually, no. Uh, the birds is a serious opening. There are some serious new ideas. I'm super excited about bringing this to you. And I think that uh, with all the material here, if you really absorb some of the key ideas, you will have fantastic success in your own games. So without further ado, here we go. Let's get stuck into some of the lesser known variations after 1f4. 